Hey everybody, TBC here. Just wanted to bring you a quick video today about some news that has happened in EverQuest on Oakwind over the last 24 hours. Last night, a large ban wave went out that only affected Oakwind. So only accounts that have been playing on Oakwind, there was a huge wave that went out and a lot, a lot of players at seven day suspensions. Now, what's it for? We don't know. They never, never say. Usually it's for utilizing third party programs. Again, which ones we don't know, but you can probably guess. Um, and the usual kind of happens. Everyone swears up and down that they don't use them and they got banned unfairly. But we know Daybreak use an automated detection for a lot of this. They're always scanning people's computers when you zone um, and things like that to see what programs you have running. And that's completely fine. It's in the terms of service. And these are the people that seem to have been hit by the ban wave. Again, I'm I'm someone who does box, but I don't use any of those automation tools. So, not I didn't get hit. Full disclosure, I didn't get hit. None of my accounts got suspended. You know, I try and behave when I'm boxing. But let me know down in the comments below. Did you get hit? Would you own up to it? Oh, were you were you one of those that did nothing wrong? I'd be interested to hear from you. Also, what happened is without a change, without a patch, they lowered the spawn rate of the Angry Goblin in Frontier Mountains. Now, this goblin was on a three-day spawn timer. And just yesterday, uh, a large guild on the server posted a video that basically showed some shenanigans that they were up to and add that to steal it from other players. Again, not saying if that's right or wrong. The mechanics are what they are. But it certainly uh, you know, it doesn't promote any kind of healthy behavior. Daybreak must have seen that video because just, just within a few hours, they changed the spawn timer from three days to, get this, 15 minutes. This is a mob that has for years been three days. Everybody knows it's three days and that you had to pop picks to get it usually. And that's what happened on that video. Somebody popped a pick. Um, somebody else managed to do the turn name first and then they get that loot lock, the asterisk next to the name. But the other group got the um, the FTE and basically just high sunned it for 30 minutes to stop anyone you know, from getting it before it unlocked, before the loot lock went. And again, I'm guessing Daybreak didn't think that was very, very healthy behavior and they've changed it to 15 minutes. That's a huge change, massive change to take something from... Uh, three days all the way down to it's pretty much always up and um, that's what has been reported to me this 15 minutes i haven't verified it myself but the multiple people who have been there today have said it's up so it's certainly very very low interesting change shady goblin is still 24 hours so that's the 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 bottleneck right there now and then once you do that easy mode for the rest of the ring into the spirit rack card let me know what you think down below is that a good change from daybreak have they just knee jerked it and gone way too far while they perhaps fixed the interaction between fte and loot lock only time will tell thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe down below i am the brick canuck and i hope that you have a fantastic day